Hey, what's up guys? Jeremy here from RoboDK. Welcome to another video of the tutorial series covering the basics of RoboDK software. Now that we know how to create targets, we need to learn how to create simple programs. If you didn't see the first few videos, I highly recommend you to watch them before going further. Also, remember that everything that I'm showing you in this video is complementing our online documentation. Ok, let's get started. Ok, here we have the station we created before, with the robot, the tool, and multiple targets. Now we need to create a simple program to paint the top of that part. Most of you may have heard the phrase divide and conquer. It makes a lot of sense for politic and military, but it also makes a lot of sense when it comes to programming. Divide the big task in smaller tasks easier to create. Here we will divide our program in three different parts, called subprogram. The approach movement from the home position to the approach target, the painting movements, and the retract movement from the part to the retract target, and finally back to the home position. Let's start by the approach movement. The first thing to do is to click the add program icon in your toolbar. You can also choose to go on the main menu, select program and select add program. That creates a new script in your station tree called prog1. I recommend you to change the name of that script as soon as possible to avoid any confusion. So, select it and press F2. Let's call this one Approach Move. Ok, I recommend you to avoid including any space in your program names. Some robot controllers may have problems with that. Ok, now let's add our first movement. Select the target you want to reach. In this case, we want to make sure that we always start at the home position. So select on target and select the move joint instruction icon in your toolbar. Alternatively, you could have gone in the main menu, select program and choose the move joint instruction. Three new items were added to our program. The first two were automatically generated and they are there to tell the robot which reference frame and which tool it should use. In this case, it's frame 2 and the paint gun. The third one is our actual movement to the home position. Now we need to move to the approach target. So let's select this target and click on the move joint icon. Ok, perfect. Now I can double click the approach move program to execute it. So it's reaching the home position target and then the approach target. At the bottom of your screen, you can see the simulation bar. If you drag the slider, you can replay part of the program. On the right, you can also see the estimated cycle time. So here, that program takes a bit more than 4 seconds. Ok. Now for the painting program, you could do the exact same thing as we just did. Create a new program, select every target one by one and add the robot movements. But that would be kind of long. The fastest way to do this is to select all the targets we want to reach, either by holding the control key and clicking them all one by one, or by clicking the first one, holding the shift key and clicking the last one. Once your targets are selected, right click on them and select create program. That will create a brand new program with all the points following one another. Note that here every movement except the first one is a linear movement. In a future video, I'll explain you the details of every robot movement type. For the moment, just know that the path from a linear movement is a straight line and the path from a joint movement is a bit random. You can change the type of movement used simply by right clicking and selecting the type of movement you want. Here, I would like the movement from the approach target to the first painting target to be a linear one. So let's change that. Ok. I will also rename the program, let's say, Paint Top. Ok. Now, if I double click on it, 
Nice, it's running well. Okay, perfect. Okay, last sub program we need to create is the one to retract our robot from the painting task. We pretty much just have to repeat the steps we took for the approach movement program. Okay, new program. Rename it retract move. Select the retract target. Select the linear movement. Now select the home target and select the joint movement. Okay, perfect. Double click on it again to run it. Okay, now that we have our three sub programs, we need to create our main program. The first way of doing that is by creating a new program, rename it main program, and now we need a way to call these sub programs. In the toolbar, you have the program call instruction. If I select it, a new window will appear. Here, I can type the name of every sub program I want to call. So first, approach, move, jump to another line to call another sub-program, paint, top, and retract, move. Okay, now we can press OK. Three programs calls were added to our main program. If I double click on it, it should execute the three programs one by one. There's a fastest way of creating a main program. I will delete this one. Just select the sub-programs you want to include in the main program, like that. Right-click on it and select main program. And we end up with the same result. If needed, you can reorder the program calls by right-clicking on them and dragging them to another position. Last thing, the yellow lines that you see are your program paths. You can hide them by selecting all the programs, right-clicking on them and unchecking display path. The keyboard shortcut for that option is F7. Okay, that's pretty much everything for that tutorial. I really hope it was helpful. In the next video, we will learn to export a simulation and to create a real robot program. Have a good day, guys.